Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to investigate the effectiveness of thermal insulators, and this is for triple physics students only. Remember that this is a required practical, so you need to learn the details. We're going to start by comparing the effectiveness of different materials as thermal insulators. First, we place a small beaker inside a larger beaker. We then use a kettle to boil some water. Next, we transfer 80 centimetres cubed of the hot water into the small beaker. We then use a piece of cardboard as a lid for the large beaker, and the lid must have a hole for a thermometer. Next, we place a thermometer through the hole in the cardboard lid, and the bulb of the thermometer must be in the hot water. Now we record the starting temperature of the water and start a stopwatch. At this point, we need to record the temperature of the water every 3 minutes for 15 minutes. Next, we repeat the experiment using the same volume of hot water. However, this time we use an insulating material, for example bubble wrap, to fill the gap between the two beakers. We should test a range of different insulating materials, for example cotton wool and polystyrene balls. We should use the same mass of insulating material in each case. Now in any experiment, the independent variable is the one that's changed. So in this case, the independent variable is the type of insulating material. The dependent variable is the one that's measured for each change in the independent variable. So in this case, the dependent variable is the temperature. And finally, control variables are ones that we don't allow to change. These are the volume of water and the mass of insulating material. We also need to keep the starting temperature of the water the same for each experiment. That can be hard to do using a kettle, but we need to try. We can record all of our results in a table such as the one I'm showing you here. Now from these experiments we can plot cooling curves for the different insulators. Remember that the water will cool down most slowly with the most effective insulating material. Okay, now we can also investigate how the thickness of a material affects the thermal insulation. In this case we start with a beaker containing 80 centimetres cubed of hot water. And just like before, we measure the temperature of the water every 3 minutes for 15 minutes. We then repeat the experiment, but this time we wrap two layers of newspaper around the beaker like this. We then repeat the experiment two more times using four layers and then six layers of newspaper. In this case, the independent variable is the number of layers of newspaper, and the dependent variable is the temperature. Again, the control variables are the starting temperature of the water and the volume of water. I'm showing you some typical results here. As you can see, the more layers of newspaper, the slower the water cools down. And that's because more layers is a more effective thermal insulator than fewer layers. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.